Hello, and welcome to this episode of New in Box. I'm your host, Chris, and today I'm joined by Scott from Prop Master's Handbook. Welcome, Scott. Thank you so much for having me, Chris. It's great to be here. Well, I have to say I'm very excited about today's episode because I know nothing about the toy that you asked for, <laughs> the Masked Rider. I don't think anybody does. Masked Rider! Masked Rider! Why this toy? When I was younger, I actually broke this particular toy with my brothers. And so rather than ask for something that I actually wanted, I wanted a chance to get for him a toy that I broke that was never able to replace. Scott, I love that. So without further ado, let's replace that toy. New inbox, Black Rider Mask RX from 1988, made in Japan. Is this the right thing? That is the correct character. Whew. Correct uh, uniform and everything for the one I broke. All right, we'll be in a staircase. It was a staircase. It was a staircase. I want to prove it can fly. So this this is the main guy. That is the main guy. I remember enough about this show. I, that's the villain. I'm pretty sure. Okay. A uh, uh, Count Drake Dracon Drake Dragon. Okay, it's about an everyday kid, or is he? On a distant and embattled planet called Edenoi, a young prince named Dex is given great powers by his grandfather, the king, and is sent to the planet Earth to protect it from the advancing evil of Count Dragon and his vicious insectoids. Once on Earth, he is adopted by a kind family and learns to live as a human. That was a thing. It was. I don't, I don't know if I know more or less. Well, we've talked a little bit about it, and we'll talk more about it, but I can tell that you're dying to open it and play with it a little bit. So, Scott, without further ado, do the honors. All right. There he is. Got the character and the watch button. I guess trading cards? Oh, there's the bike. I forgot the bike. The um, Wicked, this guy rides a motorcycle. Oh yeah, he's got a car too. Now, the box says 1988, but that's the Japanese version. Masked Rider didn't come to the US until 1995-96, and I think was only out for one season. Power Rangers, the original stuff, was all Japanese stock footage of the Rangers fighting the creatures, and then the American stuff was the teenagers when they were not in costume. Okay. Masked Rider was the same thing, where they took a lot of beef footage from another character and then spliced in American American footage for when he was an average teenager. One of the reasons I think the Mask Rider stopped airing was because they didn't have enough footage to continue on with him fighting new and different villains. <laughs> it just sort of ran out of footage and so it just stopped. Well, I think that's fascinating that this was actually a spin-off from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, much in the same way that NCIS was a spin-off of JAG and never mentioned it again. <laughs> Why do you continue? Give up and go back to Dragon. He had an adopted human family, a brother and a sister. But he also had a little creature that followed him from his planet, Furbis. It was a teddy bear duck looking thing. It sounds like a pre Furby. With his companion Furbis by his side, Dex is ever vigilant, ready at a moment's notice to call on his powers to become Masked Rider. And the things that did stand out to me about the show was his bike and his car. He was down in his luck, he was feeling bad, and he went off to a, a cave and he called these gigantic early CG bugs out of the ground and they turned into his motorcycle and his car. It could talk, I remember that. The car, the car and the bike could talk. My name is Magno, a technological marvel on wheels. Never mind her, Dex. I'm Combat Chopper. Wherever you want to go, I can get you in a Zim Zam second. These are the things I remember, not the villains, not the, not the action sequences, but these other ridiculous things about this show. It looks like, speaking of broken things, I think a piece of this oh, old man. gold plastic uh, may have broken off. You may have to get the super glue. Yes, I'm sorry. You know, I think there's a reason that it broke for you back then. Just a hunt before I break that. Let me hand you, let me trade you. Let me see this thing. No, wait a minute. <laughs> that, that is super light. It's like blown glass. Let me just absolve you of any guilt that you may have from breaking that toy so many years ago. By throwing it down a staircase. Is it none of it was your fault? Because they are uh, delicate to say the least. I, I would like to move this arm, but I don't know if it's supposed to move. And it might break off. All right, now that I've broken 
this again for you. I feel like I have to bring out something a little bit extra to kind of make up for it. So here is a set. A whole set of them. And again, I have no idea who these other characters are. I think we've got another version or two versions of the same guy. I know this is a like, second uniform for him. I think this is the bad guy's second in command. I don't remember her name. I get the sense that these are more like display items than play items. So maybe that's where the company's turning it back on you saying, you were supposed to display these, not fly them down the stairs. But I still don't think it's your fault. Thank you for watching this episode of New In Box and a special extra thanks to Scott for joining us today. Be sure to check out his channel, Prop Master's Handbook, where you can learn to make all of your favorite props from movies and television. So for now, we're gonna let Scott continue to play with these and hopefully not break them like he did last time. I thought we were paying that in the manufacturers. You're right. Please like us and subscribe below. So until next time, Rider Kick. Time for Rider Kick.